So on to the map. Ashpata Sangbetar of Mongolia. And Katsuhiro Shoji of Japan. Well, we saw um, Shoji earlier on, and I was a little bit uh, disparaging when I said, you know, I didn't think he'd, he was that great. Um, but maybe he'll, you know, show us something here. I don't know. Um, but certainly, he's got his hands full with Hashbata Sangbata, the Mongolian. Not sure what time it is in Mongolia at the moment, but could be midnight or maybe 10 to 1 in the morning. Not sure if we've got Mongolians watching the broadcast. Maybe some of their real diehard judo fans are watching. Well, hello to you and good luck to your, your, your man, Rashbatar Sangbatar. Forty-four gone, no score yet. But um, Shoji looking a bit passive, and he picks up a warning from um, the one of the judges and the referee. I think they've seen enough, and he picks up a warning. Sangbata continuing to attack. He's a bit clever now. This Sangbatar, he's been around for a while. He knows how to, um, he knows what the story is. He had a shock of blonde, bleach blonde hair a couple of tournaments ago, but that really didn't suit him. And he's gone back to his natural hair color. <laughs> And the Japanese now gets penalised. He's not quite sure what to do with um, Sangbata. Sangbata really has got the beating of him. Yeah, Yuko scored there. That's nice. hasn't got any answer to that. The Kataguruma attack, Yoko Otoshi attack, and Shoji a little bit um, un unsettled here. Doesn't look silly, but he's... Very comfortable. Got a tape coming off his his hands. He gives it to gives it to the Italian referee Massimo. He always looks very um, calm as the Italian referee. He's good at his job. Confident.
Mm-hmm. Sangvatar looking for an opening on the ground now. Shoji's just a little bit out of it, to be honest. He's not careful. Sangvatar will get that foot out. Traps it again. So the referee calls a mate. This then for a place in the semi-final. The first um, first opportunity somebody's got. Look out for the beer hug. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. He collapsed. That's the uh, most unattractive way to um, to leave a competition. Just collapsing onto your back. But Sangbatar had the beating.